And now to the war in Europe. President Volodymyr Zelensky has reportedly invited former U.S. President Donald Trump to visit Ukraine. President Zelensky reached out to Donald Trump through private channels. Now, this comes just days after the former U.S. president reportedly said that he has a peace plan for Ukraine, which includes ceding Crimea and the Donbass region to Russia. Now, the Ukrainian leader says he is open to a dialogue with Donald Trump. President Zelensky said, quote, I need very strong arguments. I don't need a fantastic idea. I need a real idea because people's lives are at stake, end quote. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian president also called Donald Trump's proposal of ceding territory to Russia both immature and primitive. The ex-president has been a skeptic of the war in Ukraine and has criticized President Zelensky on multiple occasions. President Zelensky's invite to Trump comes as Kyiv desperately awaits aid from the United States, which has been stalled due to political deadlock in Congress. Just last week, the Ukrainian president admitted that the war in Ukraine has become a hostage of America's internal politics. About the American aid, it's of critical importance to us. I still believe that we can get a positive vote in the United States Congress. Unfortunately, we are hostages of the situation. The issue of Ukraine, the issue of Russia's war against Ukraine, has become a question of internal politics in the United States. Now, Donald Trump has turned down President Zelensky's invitation, and the former U.S. president says it would be inappropriate of him to visit Ukraine since he doesn't hold office. However, Trump did use the opportunity to call out his rival, President Joe Biden, for failing to stop the war in Ukraine. Biden has no idea what the hell he's doing. He's the worst president in the history of our country. Russia would have never attacked Ukraine if I were president. Now, as the war in Europe becomes a hot-button political issue in the upcoming presidential elections, it is clear that Donald Trump holds the key to a resolution of the war. His iron grip on the GOP is the reason House Republicans refuse to bring the aid package to the floor for a vote. Good or bad, all things politics now go through Donald Trump. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.